the first thing I said on that fateful day before that speech on how suicide can save society, I said this. I think that's a great idea. These people ought to be able to do whatever they want with their own bodies as long as they don't hurt anybody else. I'm going to talk about the rehabilitation argument and the theological argument. Rehabilitation argument consists of two things. Maybe I'll call it rehabilitation and uh, irrationality. The rehabilitation argument says that we can help these people. That uh, advances in psychology, in medicine, in technology, understanding of the human mind, neuroscience, will eventually get us to a degree. And today, we are at a pretty good degree in which we can help these people become happy, good citizens. Well, that's nice. Uh, my friend who sits right next to me in the class said that. I told him why he was wrong. I am a huge believer in what medicine, technology, and scientific research can do for us. But the history of psychotherapy has been a miserable failure. There have been three eras. First was the asylum era, when we believed the cure for these people was basically to send them to prisons. The second era was the era of Freudian psychotherapy, when we believed that if we could just talk to these people and urge out and unravel the subconscious, we could understand the true cause for their ills, likely some repressed memory from before the age of five. The third era is the era we are living in today, the corporate era. But the pharmaceuticals that these companies boil up are pitiful excuses for medicine. Most of these antidepressants will actually make you suicidal. How does that work? They're supposed to be making us less depressed, not want to kill ourselves depressed. The next idea is that these people are irrational. These people are temporarily completely insane, so much that they want to kill themselves, which doesn't make any sense at all. We should transgress that natural right and do everything in our power to prevent them from doing things that we don't think are a good idea. Now, back on that first fateful day when I proposed this, at the end of the speech, I tagged on a few uh, softeners to make this idea easier to swallow. First thing I said is that we can treat this, if it makes people feel better, we can treat this somewhat like the way we treat gun control. That we have things such as waiting periods. Okay, think it over. You're actually signing up to go kill yourself. Think it over. This isn't 24-hour photo. Maybe you want them to be of a certain age. Next, if they're chronically depressed or such, maybe you want to have proof that they've been seeing a therapist, they've been taking drugs and still haven't worked and they're not satisfied, they actually want to kill themselves. Uh, next, maybe they should have a uh, certifiable physiological illness that they will not, uh, there's no chance of uh, being cured, that it's suffered, they would suffer and all that stuff. If you, still, if you still like the irrationality argument and not my idea, I know you're saying to yourself right now, Mac, what are you doing? You're trying to rationalize insanity. That just doesn't work. And if you philosophically understand this at a deeper level, you would make the very good argument that these people are irrational. And because they are irrational, because they are not members of the moral community, because... They may not even be philosophical persons at all. They may be humans, but not necessarily persons. They do not actually have rights in the first place, especially not legally recognizable ones. And finally is that theological argument. We should let the higher power in our universe decide when the souls need to be called back home. We should not do all the stuff that's it's murder. Well, yeah, well, that's great, old woman behind me that I hated every day of class. If you wanted the Lord to decide those things, then 50% of women in childbirth would have their souls called back home. Your soul would probably also be called back home before the age of 30. That looks like about half your age. 